Hi, Crystal here from Crystico Design. Today we are going to make the Amelia Ear Warmer. For this tutorial, I'm making the baby size. Check the description to find the stitch counts for each size available. For this pattern, I'm using my Furl Streamline 5mm crochet hook and some Red Heart Super Saver yarn, which is a number 4 medium worsted weight yarn. Start with the slip knot on your hook. And then I'm going to foundation double crochet. So I'll start with two chains, yarn over and insert my hook in the first chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, two times. That's my first foundation double crochet. Now I will repeat those steps by inserting my hook in the bottom of the first one I made. Now I have two foundation double crochets. I'll keep repeating. Until I have the number of double crochets I need. It helps to hold the bottom of the stitch when you first make it because that's exactly where you're going to insert your hook. Alternatively, you can start with a chain of two more stitches than you need. So I'd start with 40 stitches and double crochet in the third chain for my hook and in each chain across then I would end up with the 38 double crochets I need. Once your double crochet row is complete, you're going to turn your work. Now we're going to join our work to continue working in the round. So we'll insert our hook into the top of the first double crochet stitch we made. And then we're going to slip stitch by yarning over and pulling through both the first stitch and the last stitch we made. Now to finish up, I will weave in my end at the end of my work. So I'm going to go ahead and weave that end in now to join the bottom of my foundation row. And that way I'll have a complete circle. Now I'm going to turn my work and you'll be able to see my first stitch right here and that will be the next stitch. So I'll chain one and I'm going to single crochet into the same stitch I'm at which is slightly behind where I am. And I'm making a single crochet there. The chain one won't count. Now I'm just going to single crochet across or around in each stitch to the end. When I get to the end, this will be my last stitch right here. This is where my first stitch is. Okay, when I get back around to the end, I'm going to place my last single crochet in the last stitch and then I'm going to join them. Join with a slip stitch. And we're going to turn our work again. Now for this row we're going to chain two and going into the same stitch, double crochet. Now we're going to skip over the single crochet row and front post treble crochet around the double crochet below it. Then we're going to come back up to the row we're on and double crochet into the next single crochet. And now we repeat that sequence around front post treble crochet on the double crochet below and then double crochet into the current single crochet row. Okay, for this round we are going to end with a front post treble crochet.
Then we'll slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet, not the chain two, to join. And then we'll turn our work. This round will be a single crochet round. So we'll do a chain one, single crochet in the same stitch, and in each stitch around. Okay, when you're back to the end of your single crochet round, just be on the lookout for the join. Slip stitch to join and turn. Chain two to start. Double crochet in the same stitch. Front post treble crochet in the double crochet below. Repeat those two stitches. Double crochet in the single crochet row, front post treble crochet in the double crochet row below. This is where the pattern becomes easier because it's offset. So if you're above a double crochet, you front post treble. If there's a front post treble, you double crochet. Okay, when you get back around to the end of the round, your last stitch again is going to be a front post treble, and then we'll slip stitch to join. Then we'll turn and chain one single crochet in the same stitch and in each stitch around. Join your last single crochet to your first with a slip stitch and then turn your work. Chain two, double crochet in that same stitch Then front post treble crochet in the next stitch. Continue to repeat around, double crochet in the single crochet, front post treble in the double crochet in the row before. End with that front post treble crochet stitch and then slip stitch to join. Now I'm modeling the smallest size here for this tutorial so I am going to finish off here and so should toddler and child size. Adults will want to do another repeat of each row. Once you have your earworm as wide as you need it, you can cut off a length of yarn and pull it through the last stitch. Then just use your yarn needle to um, sew together the cinch you can make at the seam. Just squeeze it together with your fingers and then weave the yarn through back and forth to secure it. 